What's up everyone, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be looking at a research paper that's really important for anyone who's working on any chatbot based application, um, any agent or someone that just frequently uses um, something like ChatGPT. And so the name of the paper, um, LMs get lost in, I think it's multi-turn conversations, the full name, yeah, in multi-turn conversations. And basically what it shows is that it looks at the performance difference from when you get a prompt that has all the information you need right up front to solve the problem versus when you have to go back and forth to clarify and get info from the user to then go and solve that problem. And the headline number is 40% drop in performance when you have to do multi-turn versus singular. Reasoning models fail, small models fail, um, unreliability doubles, um, and a bunch of not good stuff. And so we'll look a little bit at the experiment and also go over why this happens and then the solutions as well. So basically what the researchers did was take a prompt from a popular data set where you see again here we all of the information is up front and then they broke it up into many different shards that the LLM would have to retrieve from in conversation and you'll notice it's not just like there's a little bit of a process here it didn't just cut this up um, based on characters or anything like that basically it takes that prompt it uses an LLM to segment it and then it has um, a rephrasing process and so this was basically to show that like it's not just the exact same prompt as it was initially there's a little bit of vagueness added to it it's a little bit different um, and then they do a check to make sure while these shards are different they still have all the important information and relevant information such that the problem is solvable and then there's a manual um, inspection and so a couple of different task types code generation sql queries math problems 200,000 conversations, performance, aptitude, reliability, unreliability. We're going to focus mainly on performance. In terms of the methods tested, so we have full, that's the normal prompt from the original benchmark. Sharded, which is when the model will be getting those shards from a conversation. Concatenated is basically taking those shards and just gluing them all together and sending that. Um, so it's very similar to full, except that it's been these shards have been rephrased. Recap is sharded plus one step at the end that adds all the um, shards together. So it's like a little bit of a combination of these two. And then snowball is it will prepend the shards with every subsequent step as you continue to give the shards to the model. And all right, big table of results. So what we see here, so this is full, this is concatenated, this is sharded. They have the other methods that we'll look at in a little bit. And this looks at um, concatenated over full and then sharded over full. So relative performance for those um, for those methods. You'll see concatenated mostly stays the same um, in terms of its relation to full. The concatenated to full kind of um, column over here, you're seeing a lot of 91s, 90, 93, 93, 90. So pretty good, even in this case, 101, which means that it did better um, overall. Here we go, 103, two for what was that, for R1. So generally, concatenating seems to be pretty similar performance and again remember these are like different shards this isn't just like taking the exact original prompt sharded performance uh, obviously tanks here and um, you can see that by a lot of red um, this is where that 40 percent decrease in performance comes from and you can see that in the column here 60 percent 50 52 50 like these are much lower uh, relative performance so yeah nearly every model uh Accuracy falls in sharded versus full. Average degradation is 40%. Concatenation does well. Small models fail. Big models fail. Um, you know, GPT 2.5 Pro loses about 30 to 40%, which is just as much as the small models. And then the re uh, the reasoning models again, um, they fail as well, partially related to their uh, large outputs. And then I mentioned they also ran on like a smaller set of models. Um, recap and snowball so again for a reminder recap still conversation then it gives it all at the end snowball they prepend as you collect them along the way neither did super well so if we look here full is at 87 concat is at 85 uh, recap is 66 and snowball is at 62 and so again those methods don't really help yeah a reminder here and so why they basically noted four reasons why this might have happened premature answer attempts so uh the first 20 percent of turns averages a 30 percent score so the model was like just when it answers quickly it's more likely to give a 
bad answer. It was if it was answering in the last 20%, it got 65%. So models attempt to answer too soon um, and then lock in on mistakes. So even if they are told that it's wrong and then to keep going, it's a little bit like the whale's been poisoned, which is a little bit more what happens here. So um, let's look at this chart. So this chart um, does answer length versus answer um, attempt. And you can see in the beginning for full and concat, and then we have sharded. They start at the same spot, obviously, for their first answer, that the length is the same. And then the further it goes on, the longer um, their answer attempts get. And so LMs will often make these like wrong guesses and then cling to those mistakes. And then that is what can drive up the length of the answers because it's still holding on to all these different assumptions. We have lost in the middle. Um, you know, it's pretty well known, but that LLMs will remember the first part and the last part more so. And so the longer the turn in the conversation, the more there is to forget in the middle, decreasing performance. And then being over verbose, verbose was like another thing here, especially this happens a lot with reasoning models. Um, so as the response length increases, the average accuracy declines. Um, it's not by a ton, you know, we're seeing 40% versus 35%, but you know, 5% difference is, is definitely, uh, definitely notable. Um, and so that's another issue to kind of worry about like over verbosity. And so what can you do? And clearly the concatenation solution seems to be the best. And so what you could do is if you have a multi-turn thing going on, once you collect all the information from the user, send that via a fresh LLM in a single shot prompt versus having the baggage of this like message history. Um, so you use an LLM to get the correct information in some capacity, and then you send it over to a fresh LLM to do actually whatever the task that needs to be done. And so that's this point here. But then also more importantly is to like test, really test these like multi-turn flows. Um, you'll see a lot of like evaluation sets are like not re like relative to what actually happens in production. They look more like this, you know, eval sets, but you know, use case of your product usually looks more something like this. Um, it would be great if it was, they all the prompts looked like this, that's just not um, relevant. So testing for that is something that's important. And so, yeah, that's about it. It's super interesting. It'll be linked below. Um, and yeah, gotta start testing for multi-turn stuff.